It's the name of a famous method. In this method, you set goals for yourself on a daily or weekly. You start to put cross to the days on which you have reached your goal. You make a chain with these crosses and you don't give up. You don't break that chain. But we have a problem. Personal development specialists say that we should have goals. You know, they say like, don't sleep more than six hours, learn a language, finish a book every week, don't stop, always run, don't give up on your dream, don't break the chain. Okay. I don't object to them. I also have a table and put crosses on it every day and go after many goals, no problem. But you know what? They don't talk about the most important part of it. Let me give you a simple mathematical example. Try to imagine that you are adding numbers and imagine that the numbers you have added up to this year is, for example, 35 in total and you start from this year. For example, you will add 4 in this year and then add 8 in next year and it goes on. And there is an unknown time which counts down and when it ends, you can't add any other number. Okay, you start the addition. Plus 4, plus 8, plus 7, plus 3. You add ambitiously, you keep adding and adding plus six, plus five, and okay, they say time is over. Then you realize that you have added the numbers into a giant parenthesis, and there is a zero multiplication at the end of it. It wipes out all the numbers you have added all those years, and the result becomes zero. Of course, you are disappointed. All your efforts have been wiped out by the zero. A regret arises inside of you, you say, I wish I had seen the whole picture at the beginning and realized that zero and changed it with one before I started the addition. I think you got the point. Okay, guys, you may have goals for this year and afterwards. Learning a language, finishing a book every week, increasing your monthly income to $15,000, not sleeping more than six hours, etc. But for what? For what do we set goals exactly? Why don't we break the chain? If it is just for a more comfortable or a more respectable life, remember that all this will already be zero with death. The death will wipe out all of them. The person who knows English will be equal with the one who doesn't know. The one who earns more will be equal with the one who earns less. The one who can reach his goals will be equal with the one who can't. So if at the end of it, the death will zero everything. So what is the meaning of adding more numbers with an ambition? It just increases the degree of the disappointment that you will feel. So the logical thing is, seeing the whole picture at the beginning, in this life journey which will end in an unknown time, my first job must be to prevent death from being zero. Well, can I really prevent death from being zero? I mean, since everything will leave my hands and will be lost, is there any other way that would transform them into something eternal? I mean, isn't there any kind of stamp for eternity that would impress all of the things that I possess and say, look, there is a seal on them and you can't wipe them out, okay? They will remain forever. The only one to say such a thing is the owner of the everything. And he says, Kullu shay'in halikum. Everything, the languages you learn, the money you earn, the books you read, everything will be perished. Illa wajha. Except their way towards him. So the creator of our life says, if your intention is towards Allah, if the thing you do is for his acceptance, it won't disappear. It will be transformed into eternity in paradise. So learning a language, finishing a book every week, being rich, everything. If they are towards him and for his sake, eternity is stamp being pressed on them. For example, in this year, I will study English for 10 minutes daily. For what? Because serving Islam in the field of English is so important and I want to gain acceptance of my Lord with it. That zero has turned into one. This year, I will finish a book every week. Why? Because this is the way of being a more sophisticated person and serving Islam better and Allah who is eternal will be pleased with it. Good news, that zero has turned into one because now his acceptance is your intention. I aim increasing the income of my company to $150,000. For what? Because I will spend that money on spreading the message of the Quran to the whole world and the publications that would police him. 
you have exterminated the zero because now your goal is towards him. We add an ad like this through our lives and they don't end with death. People who seek Allah's sake in their actions kill their death. Death cannot zero their additions. If the thing we do is for his acceptance, it is not mortal. You may say, I don't really love him that much and maybe I don't really believe in him that much either. So how can I do everything for his sake? I don't even know who he is. My brother or sister, that's the problem. You don't even know who he is. And actually it is our first job in this life, recognizing him. That's the first step. The more you recognize him, the more you love him. And the more you love him, the more you seek his sake in your actions. So learn about him. Who made you? What does he want? Why does he give you such a billion things in each day? Read, find out. Turning to zero into one is a lifelong process. Start at the point that you are missing and try to fix it. Like the specialists say, don't break the chain, but keep the chain to gain his acceptance. Run, but run to be eternal. An unknown time counts down, and before starting to add the numbers, the first thing you have to do is to remove that zero. Otherwise, everything you added will be wiped out. Yeah.